Jennifer McKenzie says a rebuild is needed after 14 NDP candidates in last fall's provincial election jumped to the Green Party Tuesday. A federal executive member who worked for the NDP, Jonathan Richardson, also made the move. He's been an in t inside organizer for the party for a very long time. He's uh, recruited people, and those uh, are predominantly the people who are following him. She says knowing what happened inside the party, she's not surprised the move was made. He orchestrated to try to put his mother in as leader, uh, and uh, this, is, uh, this is what he's doing because uh, that didn't work out for him. So, uh, you know, that's, the, that's where this is coming from. That's who people are following over to the Greens. But the news did catch at least one longtime NDP supporter off guard. Provincially and fed federally, I don't think it's a fatal blow. I think it's a serious blow. As for political scientist J.P. Lewis, he says while people switching parties was a dramatic move, the NDP has been on the decline for a number of years, and time will tell what impact it will have on the upcoming federal election. The battle still is between the Tories and the Liberals. Um, this might have some fallout in terms of maybe former NDP voters who are going to park their vote elsewhere. And I think in tight races, which we might have a couple in New Brunswick, you know, that, that could have an impact for, for the Liberals. Meanwhile, in a statement Wednesday, federal Green Party leader Elizabeth May says the party condemns racism. This comes after Jonathan Richardson said racism is still an issue across the country. Some have criticized federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh for not visiting the province since becoming leader, but Mackenzie says there's plenty of criticism for the other leaders as well. Currently there are no NDP candidates in the province. Canadians head to the polls October 21st. Callum Smith, Global News, St. John.